the Knicks series has become a celebration of piston intensity. And appropriately, it would also provide the forum for honoring the player who most embodies this spirit. Master Lock Defensive Player of the Year, Dennis Rodman. Dennis Rodman's big thing is, I don't need any help. Let me just handle them by myself. And that's the pride he has in defense. For Rodman, his dedication had been well worth it. Uh, I'd like to thank uh, Set yourself out to accomplish a goal, and you know, all of a sudden you achieve it, you know, no matter what it is, you know. I promised myself I wouldn't break that if I wore the hood, but it just it hit me, and, and uh, it was a great feeling for me. I wore this one so bad. But awaiting Rodman and his teammates in the conference finals was the ultimate challenge to their defensive mastery. For containing Michael Jordan would require a special approach. The Jordan rule, the Jordan rule, Michael Jordan is, Michael Jordan that. I don't hate the guy, and I'm like, I just got sick and tired of hearing that guy. Rule number one, bring reinforcements. We're going to use the Jordan rules, also the Michigan National Guard, and Rule number two, nothing is sacred. Talk about different things that he doesn't like to talk about, like baldness. Sorry. I got number three. Rule number three, give nothing away. The Jordan rules. Is that something you guys made up? Jordan rule? No, I don't, I don't know what that is. None of your business. <laughs> But as the series' first confrontation approached, one Jordan rule would move to the forefront. Get him! The battle cry had been sounded, and no prisoners would be taken. As the airways were clogged with pistons, who hounded Jordan's every move and punished Chicago on both ends of the floor. Everything was falling for the Pistons, including Jordan, as Detroit steamrolled Chicago in games one and two. But everyone knew that Jordan, though hobbled, would have to be reckoned with on his home turf. Now he's got three, four days to get ready, so we're going to be looking at basically a healthy Jordan come uh, Saturday. Invoking his own set of rules in Chicago, a rejuvenated Jordan shredded the Pistons for 89 points in games three and four, single-handedly tying the series at two. Great game by Michael Jordan again. Uh, Jordan rules tonight instead of the rules are against Jordan. The Bulls strode confidently into Auburn Hills for game five, looking to steal the crucial home court advantage. But Detroit had a plan of their own, and they wasted little time in implementing it. As both teams executed flawlessly in the first half. Although the Bulls were off and running in the third quarter, the game would belong to the Pistons as their defense smothered Chicago, and their offense wore them down, bringing them one victory away from a finals berth. Facing elimination, Jordan and his Bulls would once again break loose back in Chicago. But as Detroit looked towards the decisive seventh game, they found solace in knowing that it would be played in their domain. That's why we mentally and physically tortured ourselves for 82 games. Uh, we wanted to be in our own building. Fittingly, their season would now hinge on their shared philosophy of team defense. I think we're very fortunate that we have guys on the team that don't consider defense a chore but like to play defense. Defense is an interesting phrase. I think guys, once you sell them on it, it's a macho way to go. But it doesn't entail me playing you necessarily. It's our five playing you. To know that you can count on guys behind you when you get beat. Uh, it sends you out there with a lot of confidence on defense to play guys really tough because you always know you got the help. We're not selfish. Uh, you can't be selfish as a defensive player and you have to have more discipline as a defensive player than you do as an offensive player. Pitting their collective strength against Chicago's Superman, Detroit stood firm in their beliefs. The club was very confident. 
and I drew from them a certain amount of confidence. And you get to a point where you say, hey, it's down to one game series. Let's best team win. The winner of this game plays Portland for the NBA title. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, you're not going to win it offensively. I got to have the defense. Michael, you're not doing it today. You ain't going to do it today. You shut people down, you get fast breaks. With Sally anchoring their defense, the Pistons corralled the Bulls and then ran past them. And if you can control the tempo, and if you can control the style, then your team's going to win. As they dominated at both ends of the floor, it was clear that the Pistons were playing their brand of basketball. Get a stop, White! The Bulls' attempt at storming the palace would be smashed. And the route was on as Detroit convincingly showed their supremacy, earning their third consecutive conference championship and making a bold statement as they moved on to the final. Return to the NBA Finals for the third straight time.